y'all my name is Casey Amaya and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're not new and in this video we are going to be doing a attempting to live like my Pinterest board for the day and I actually got this idea from one of my new favorite youtubers to watch her name is Kayla on YouTube so you guys should go check out her video but basically over the week I created a Pinterest board and I just added pins of what I want to accomplish today that's like aesthetic and like Pinterest -y. I just have about five or six pins so I'm gonna tell you guys what I want to do today so the first pin is just this picture of makeup and skincare because I do want to go to Ulta and try to pick up some new things because I haven't been there in a minute so that's that pin and then the next one I have is just a picture of a thrift store because I have been thrifting about three times but I never actually bought anything so I guess I haven't been thrifting but I do want to actually buy something from a thrift store because I feel like they have really good finds so I want to find something and actually purchase it so that is on the agenda for today and then I have a picture of flowers because this coming week is the ending of fall semester and this semester has been something so I feel like I deserve to treat myself to something cutesy and flowers is the perfect thing for me so I'm just going to buy myself some flowers because if I don't buy it who's gonna buy it for me blink blink okay <laughs> and then I have a picture of crumble cookies because I also have not been to crumble cookie in like a year so I really do want to go and then I have this bowl this is not the exact picture but basically there's like been a tiktok going around of like this parfait little breakfast thing it's basically yogurt granola green apples and caramel and that sounds so good so i want to try to make it to have a picture of a pile of books because i do want to get into reading fun fact when i was younger my dad actually paid for a reading class for me to help me read faster i mean not that i read slow or anything i don't know so i feel like i should put his money to use and buy a book so that is everything that i have in this mood board pinterest board so i will see you guys in the next clip okay guys so right now i am outside of barnes and noble and i want to look for like a self-improvement self-help something like that some type of book like that not really non-fiction or fiction or whatever so yes i'm super excited because i haven't been in barnes and noble in a long time and i feel like barnes and noble just gives studious and like you have your life together so yes see you guys in Barnes and Noble I cannot find snail mucin at all. Like I walked around the whole store, I don't see it. What's tea? Thank you. Thank you. Rumble cookies, secure. Hey y'all, so you can see it's dark. 
darker than what it was before but we went to Barnes & Noble, Crumble Cookie and Ulta and I almost forgot that I wanted to go to the thrift store which was like the most important thing if you ask me. So we found one, it's the Salvation Army and I'm gonna see what's in there and I hope I find at least one thing. Okay guys so Salvation Army is right there and we're waiting to cross like Good Samaritan. Okay come on. Oh. or maybe like a hoodie or a sweatshirt or something but this is obviously not the eyes Ooh, like, I should get this since I'm bilingual it says TT and I'm a TT okay we're not getting that just kidding Leaf. this is so plaid it's the weekend I don't get it. Okay. This was a fail. I did not find anything at all. Like nothing at all. So I'm gonna go. Like every time I come thrifting, I never find nothing. But I probably, it's cause I'm not probably looking at a good thrift store, so. Yeah, we're gonna go to the supermarket to get what we need for our yogurt parfait and then i will catch you guys at home after Hey y'all, so I'm back home and now I'm going to show you guys what I got from the grocery store and then what I got from Barnes & Noble and Ulta. So first we're going to start with the grocery store. So I got some Minute Maid Fruit Punch because I love Fruit Punch, it's my favorite juice. And yeah, I feel like Minute Maid Fruit Punch is also really, really good. So I got Fruit Punch. Then I have some grapes. This is mainly for my dad because he loves grapes. And I also like grapes too, but by the time I get to even eat some, it's probably going to be like down here because of him. So it's mainly for him. Um, these are seedless because I don't like fighting with my food. So I just like to eat it, chew it, and then, you know, good. Not, yeah. And then the last things are for the um, yogurt parfait thingy that I'm going to be making after I show you guys everything I got. So we got some caramel syrup. It was $4, so I need to find something else to use this for because like, 
And I got this pack of granola. I got this one because it's oats and honey. And I feel like the honey will add like a little sweetness. So just some granola. And then I got some green apples. Which is like one of the main ingredients for the little parfait thingy. I actually do really like apples. So some apples. And then I got three of these Yoplait vanilla yogurts. I know when people make parfaits they use like Greek yogurt or like healthy yogurt. Like healthy yogurt. But I know I wasn't going to like the taste of it. So I got just some vanilla yogurt. Because I don't like Greek yogurt. And I'm not going to pretend like I like it just for this video. So yeah. That's everything we got from the supermarket. Then from Barnes & Noble. I haven't been to Barnes & Noble in so long. Because the one that was close to me, they closed it down. I used to go there all the time with my dad and brothers. So yeah. This one is like 30 minutes away from my house. But we got two books. So as I was telling you guys, I wanted some like self-help, self-improvement type of books. So I got this one, which is very popular. The So Art of Not Giving a Frick. And yeah, this book is actually really, really popular for people who start reading about like self-help, self-improvement or whatever like that. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this book. When I was looking at it, the worker there, he was like, oh, that's a really good book. And every time I ask people if they learn something from it, they say yes. So that motivated me even more to purchase. So we got this book. And then I saw this one. It's called Her Volume 3. I don't know. I couldn't find Volume 1 or 2. So we got this one. It's actually really cute because it's like pink and black and like sleek. But this one is a poetry book. So it's like a little bit different from this one. And the back, I'm going to read the back to you guys just in case if you're interested in like getting this book. It says, she's a poetry book. You must read every letter and digest every word. Every facet of her paints a part of the bigger picture. You can't love her if you do not intend on reading every page and learning how to comprehend every piece of her. So the book is her. And yeah, I think this is so cute. And I actually can't, this is what I'm most excited to read, honestly. But... We got these two books and then from Ulta, I mainly went in Ulta to find snail mucin. I could not find snail mucin. I don't know if it was sold out or whatever, but I walked to the store three times and I could not find it. But then aside from snail mucin, I also wanted to find a lip combo because I feel like every girl has a lip combo and I don't really have one. I just really go with clear lip gloss, which is nothing wrong. But you know, sometimes I want to spice it up, especially if I have a full face of makeup on. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. So this I actually got for my mom, but it's the um, Bioma skincare little brand. Their packaging is really, really cute. And it's the Deep Puff and Brighten Eye Gel. So I got three lip products. So this one is the NYX lip liner. This is in Cold Brew. And I've heard about this on TikTok. So I'm pretty sure it's like a brown. It's not really a dark brown per se, but it's like a brown. So yeah, we're gonna see. And then I got the NYX Fat Oil. I just got the clear one because I feel like it's the safest. So yeah, I really can't wait to try this. And then I got the NYX, this is Juice Gloss. And this is in Strawberry Flex. This is like a pinky color. I feel like this together will be cute. And then like this on top, I don't know. That's just my idea. So we're gonna see how I like that. And then I got Rumble Cookie. So I'm going to try this with you guys. So yeah, I'm going to go put up these groceries because I'm going to make the parfait a little bit later. But I'm going to put these groceries up and I will be back to try the cookies. Okay, so I changed into something more comfortable. And now I'm ready to dip and dab onto these crumble cookies. So I got the four pack because I didn't like two of the flavors that they had. I'm about to tell you all the flavors. So the two flavors that I didn't get was chocolate raspberry truffle and then lemon poppy seed. For one, I'm allergic to raspberry and then I don't like lemons at all. So it was going to be a no for the lemon poppy seed. So yeah, I'm going to insert that here so you guys can see what the cookies are. But we're going to get started. This one is gingerbread cake and she's actually really cute. I don't really like gingerbread so we're going to see. Yo, I don't think I like that cookie. It's like spicy. Obviously, it can have a little twang to it because it's ginger, but I don't think I like that. So I rate that like a four. Yeah. I got this one, which is chocolate crumb cake, and I don't really like chocolate. So we're going to see. 
that just tastes like a chocolate chip cookie literally so i rate it like a eight i feel like if i warm it up it will be good so this one is just regular chocolate chip and i'm not gonna try it because i know what a chocolate chip cookie tastes like like hello the next cookie i'm actually excited for it's called caramel shortbread featuring twix and i really like twix so and she's the cutest cookie ever to me so we're gonna try this one mm-hmm mm -hmm. yep this is the cookie that's good because it's not too sweet and i like the base cookie the base cookie tastes good it's really good i rate that like a nine that's my favorite one and i'm gonna finish that one the other three are for my parents but that one is mine Okay, y'all, so I finished it. My presentation is A1, and y'all should really um, book me for cooking classes because I could teach y'all how to cook. <laughs> so we're gonna try it. I'm actually kind of scared, I don't know why, but we're gonna get a bite of everything. So an apple, caramel, and then some granola. Mmm, it's actually good. It's very yummy. Okay guys, so the yogurt parfait, I rated a cool 8 out of 10. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys really did enjoy and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the vibe. Okay, okay. Bye y'all.